I remember the first time I saw it, I couldn't believe this grove was here. I saw it on a map, I'm like, I gotta go check this out. And I walked the entire length, it was just beautiful. And it's quiet and you have it to yourself and it's almost like you're in a different world. We're on the uh, California Coastal Trail, which goes through Downlark Coast Redwood State Park. And this part of the trail is maintained by California State Parks as part of their trail program. And it provides a valuable link to people to uh, access this amazing place. The trail does cross the highway. And when you cross the highway, there's about an eight mile section of coastal trail that's on the bluff where you can look down parts and see ocean and, and old growth redwoods. So there's an amazing thing about old growth redwoods and salt air. They don't like too much salt air, but they like moisture. So when you hike on the coastal trail on the bluff side, you can see a distinct line where the old growth redwood stop and the old growth Sitka spruce begin. So while they like their fog and moisture, they can't have it too salty. So it's a really fascinating trail to be on and it's just an amazing experience for anyone who has a chance to walk it. And you don't have to walk the whole California coastal trail. You can walk sections of it and still admire the beauty this place has to offer. And this particular section is probably the least traveled of our trails and probably almost the most diehard coastal walkers are actually on it. So if you get a chance to be on this trail, you'll probably have it all to yourself. And then people can also ride bikes on that section. It's the only part in parks that you can allow to ride a bike. That's because it's the old highway and half of the section is still paved with highway markings on it. So it's a really amazing chance, not only of, of, of history and natural beauty, kind of all combined together. We're in Delnart Coast Redwood State Park. It's one of three parks that make up Redwood National and State Parks. So you have Prairie Creek, Delnart Coast Redwoods, and Jediah Smith, and then Redwood National Park. So they're co-managed. About 23 years ago, they decided it was good to come together and uh, form a kind of an alliance between two agencies and manage these parks as, as one whole. So we're in one of the three state parks. There's Delnart Coast Redwood State Park. It was uh, formed in 1925. Uh, by a gentleman from New York who decided that he saw what was happening with all the redwoods being cut down and he decided he wanted to protect the coast redwoods. So he uh, bought 157 acres of old growth redwoods and then he gave it to the state of California. And so it became a park in 1925. This park is now 31,000 acres. Not all of it is old growth, but the portion we're in today is. And it's one of the most scenic and, and beautiful parts, I think, of this whole park. Old growth redwoods are trees that have never been cut. They're the original trees since the beginning. So it's difficult to tell the age of the tree by the size, but they can be anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 years old. One of the interesting things about redwood trees is how they reproduce. So redwood trees have very small seeds, and if you look around the floor of this area, it's very thick with vegetation. So very low success rate for these seeds to regerminate and make new trees. But they have a thing called burls. It's a very condensed piece of outgrowth on the trees. And from that, it has all its genetic material contained within that burl. A tree falls in the forest, through the burl, it can clone itself. It can regenerate a whole new tree from that burl because of all that dense genetic material. So you could be looking at a tree that could have cloned itself three or four times in its life. You could be looking at a tree genetically that's from the time of dinosaurs. It's an amazing experience, especially when uh, there's a bit of fog in the mornings and there's some sunlight coming through. And some people refer to them as God rays. So you have this fog and the sunlight coming through that and it provides these little rays of light that hit the forest floor. And it's really an amazing experience and some people have even referred to it as a religious experience. 